So there's one thing in Team Sonic Racing that I have no doubt in my mind is going to deliver. And at first I was skeptical about it, but then when we found out everything, I have no doubt in my mind this is going to be really good. So when we first got the reveal of Team Sonic Racing, the official like reveal trailer that lasted like 20 seconds, we had Aaron Weber on Twitter telling us if you like music, stay tuned. And then we got the E3 trailer and what was it? It was fucking Crush 40 back again after fucking nine years. Sonic and the Black Knight is when they last did a fucking vocal song for a Sonic game. This is fucking amazing stuff. I'm really looking forward to hearing the full version of Green Light Ride. I think that's what the song is called. Really cool stuff because at first I was worried that the stage music, if you've seen any of my reaction videos to stage music, I was really, really scared that it was fucking Otani, Tomorrow Otani. Because if you didn't know, I did not think the music in Sonic Forces, at least the modern stuff, wasn't great. It was really synthesized. It was using really stock instruments. Wasn't my cup of tea. It didn't sound great. And when I first started hearing guitars, I just got Otani flashbacks. And I was like, oh fuck, not again. But guess what? The in-stage music is actually John Sonoy. So I think he is doing the entirety of the soundtrack, John Sonoy. But that is one concern I do have is that every track will have the same like feel with the music. So that's my only concern. But if it has variety, then I'm fine. But the in-game music for Wisp Circuit sounds really good. At first, I wasn't actually a big fan. Honestly, I wasn't a big fan because it just sounded really guitar heavy. But after watching that gameplay video from the Nintendo World Report, I've watched that so many times just so I can listen to the music. It sounds really fucking good. It honestly reminds me of like Sonic Adventure music. It sounds so, so good. You've got like the saxophone and you've got the guitar. And then I think you've got drums in the background. It's really good. And then it speeds up on the last lap. Sounds really intense. Sounds really good. It really does fit the racetrack. It does fit. Though my biggest problem with that one is that it kind of feels like it doesn't fit Planet Wisp. It definitely fits a racing game. It definitely fits a racetrack. But I don't know if Planet Wisp was the best one to use it on. Because Planet Wisp and like Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations was really more somber and like peaceful. But whereas in this game it's just guitar heavy fucking everywhere. Guitar, guitar, guitar. But it's cool. It's cool. It sounds really good and I'm really happy. It definitely does sound like Sonic Adventure music. And then I think we've got remixes of like some character themes, like Tails is Believe in Myself when you go ultimate. And then I think Sonic's is actually Reach for the Stars. At first I thought it was like some version of his world, but I'm pretty sure it's just fucking Reach for the Stars. So I guess that's fine. It's a good theme, it's just I don't think it's the theme that fits Sonic. I think Endless Possibilities is like Sonic's theme, 100% that is what Sonic is in my opinion. But Reach for the Stars, still good. I guess it fits Roger Sonic if you want to go that far. But the music is going to be really good. I Fucking hope. Uh, all the menu music and everything too. I'm pretty sure it's all guitar heavy Johnson Noy. But let's just hope all the rest of the themes are not just guitars. Give us some musical variety. That would be pretty nice. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's more than one Crush 40 theme. I hope it's not just the main theme. I hope it's more. Because it is really good. But I hope there's like a final level theme or a credits theme or something. Not just Green Light Ride. But the fact that we have that in the first place. I can't really complain, it's a spin-off game and they gave them the Crush 40. That's a pretty good way and a smart way to sell this game to Sonic fans. Because Sonic fans are absolutely going to buy this just because of Crush 40. So that's pretty great. And that's everything I've pretty much got to say. Let me know if you're looking forward to the music in this game in the comments section below. I am looking forward to it. I cannot wait to hear more. I wonder what Rooftop Run is going to sound like. I don't know if they're going to really go heavy on that guitar or they're going to add a violin. I don't know, but make sure to follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description below. It's a good way to keep up to date with what I'm doing, and it's a good way to interact with me. Make sure to follow my Twitch channel, I premiere videos early, and I also live stream on there. I need to be active on there more, but that sounds good, make sure to follow that. Make sure to join the Twips Code server, it's a good way to get involved in the community. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube for more videos like this. I do Sonic news and updates and discussions and gameplay videos, and I do Nintendo discussions news and gameplay videos. If that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're always notified of a new upload. But with all that said, thank you all for watching guys, and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later. Damn, damn.